think as many times as I've been on this field, I've never been this nervous. Uh, my first year with the Dodgers was 1955. If my math is correct, I've known Vin Scully now for 60 years, or more than 60 years. Uh, growing up in Brooklyn, the Dodgers had a red-headed announcer by the name of Red Barber. And he was good. But then a few years later, another redhead showed up, and I thought he was very good. I'm not sure I realized how good he was until 1958, when the Dodgers from Brooklyn became the LA Dodgers, moved into the Coliseum. It was a very strange phenomenon to be on the field and hear the broadcast coming out of the stands. Uh, the people of Los Angeles, even though they were at the game, didn't enjoy it without listening to Vin tell them about it. He entertained and he educated. Vin's style of broadcasting was very special. In a lot of days, he called announcers homers. I think Vin appreciated the players and their talents in both dugouts. He, for all the years that I heard him, he used the Dodgers as a word, never the word we. Uh, there's a story about Vin, I don't know how many people know, that before the World Series, Vin would go to church and pray. Not for a win, but there would be only heroes in the World Series, no goats. He didn't want anybody's future to be tarnished with the fact they lost the World Series for their team. And I think that showed his compassion for the players. But I think the thing I treasure most, he allows me to call him friend. And we're here tonight to honor my friend and yours, and it's really a pleasure to be here. Thank you.